Adding dimensions to a drawing is critical in order to get our parts manufactured. But when these drawing views start to add up, we have more and more dimensions to add and they can start to get cluttered or difficult to read. Making sure our drawings are clear and easy to read is one of the most important aspects of getting our models manufactured. Moving dimensions manually will help clear up clutter in a drawing, but this could take a significant amount of time for large or complex designs. Fortunately, we can automate this process, arranging all of the dimensions of our drawing view in just a couple of clicks. And we're going to show you how in this two minute tech tip. Taking a look at our dimension palette on our drawing, we have a tool called Auto Arrange Dimensions. To use Auto Arrange Dimensions, hold control on your keyboard and multi-select all of the dimensions that you want to arrange. After selecting the last dimension, let go of control and do not move your cursor. A small white box will appear to the right of your cursor. This is called the dimension palette. If you select your last dimension and the dimension palette isn't appearing, try pressing control again to get the menu to reappear. It's important not to move your cursor away from the dimension palette box or the menu will disappear. Once inside of the dimension palette menu, in the bottom left corner, you will see an icon with a blue square with dimensions on the top and right of the square. This is the auto arrange dimensions option. And when you select it, SOLIDWORKS will automatically position the dimensions that you have selected to place them around the border of the drawing view. This can be used as a starting point where you can manually clean it up afterwards, or if you like the way it looks, you can leave it just the way it is. Additional options for organizing dimensions are available in the dimension palette as well, including options to space the dimensions evenly if there happens to be a regular spacing between them, align all the dimensions in a collinear fashion, or stagger them if preferred. The thumb wheel at the bottom of this dialog can also be used to increase or decrease the amount of relative space between multiple selected dimensions. And keep in mind, all of these options require multiple dimensions to be selected and won't work on individual dimensions. Auto arrange dimensions can be useful when you have a lot of dimensions on a drawing sheet and they are interfering with each other or all over the place. With the auto arrange dimensions option from the dimension palette and additional organizational tools, these dimensions will be easy to read with just a few clicks. If you're interested in additional information about dimensions and other drawing tips, check out our SOLIDWORKS drawings course where you can find hours of information on different drawing views, dimensions, annotations, tables, drawing formats, and more. Thanks for watching.